1928 or so, they began working on actually building the library here, and in 1932 it opened. Unfortunately, Mr. Folger had died before it was actually completed, so he never actually got to see the, the finished product. Uh, but um, Emily lived for several more years and sort of did. So in this room, one of the things that you'll notice is this big stained glass up here. Um, if any of you have been in Trinity Church in Stratford upon Avon, this uh, the outline of this window would look familiar to you because it's a, it's a duplicate of that. Um, of course, at Trinity Church, at uh, Trinity Church, they have religious themes, but here we have Shakespearean themes. Um, this is a um, sort of a tableau from um, the Seven Ages of Man, which I'm, is that from, is it as, as you like it? it. As, as you like it, try as, as, as you like it. Um, so I'm going to try to recite it for you. Um, there are seven ages, so you can count as we go through. Um, if I get stuck at some point, I'm just going to stop talking and act like that's all I intended to do. <laughs> um, so anyway, this is the one, at least parts of it should be familiar to you. All the world is stage and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances. One man in his time plays many parts, his acts being seven ages. At first, and if you take a look at this thing last time on the left bottom, uh, that's, that's where we'll make our progress. Um, we have the infant mewling and puking in the nurse's arms, and then the whining schoolboy with his satchel and his shining morning face, creeping like snail, unwilling at school. And then, my favorite, the lover, sighing like a furnace with a woeful ballad made to his mistress's eyebrow. And then at the top we have the soldier, bearded like a pard. A pard is like a leopard. Um, leopards don't really have beards, so it's kind of a curious reference. But anyway, uh, we have the soldier bearded like a pard, sudden in jealousy, uh, quick to quarrel, always seeking the bubble reputation, even in the cannons now. Then we have the justice, in full round belly, with good capon lined, eyes severe, beard of formal cut, full of wise saws and modern instances, and so he plays his part. And the sixth age shifts to the lean and slippered pantaloon, spectacles on nose, pouch on side, his youthful hose well saved, but a world too wide for his trunk shank. And the last, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot one part. Um, his big manly voice turns toward childish trouble with pipes and whistles in his sound. And the last scene in this strange and eventful history is second childishness and mere oblivion. Song's eyes, song's teeth, song's taste, song's everything. So that's it. <laughs>